Hello. My name is Barry Thane. I'm a clinical hypnotist in private practice, but I was also the first hypnotherapist to publish a skill on Amazon's Alexa platform, where it's become one of Amazon's top performing skills. It's called hypnotherapist. Amazon has established recording standards, which it wants all developers to adopt and has provided instructions on how to meet those guidelines. Unfortunately, they do not work. In this video, I shall try to explain why and what you can do about it so that you can and do meet the required specifications. These guidelines are intended primarily for producers of voice-only mono recordings as they present particular problems, but they will be a useful guide to stereo developers too. As you can see on the screen, Amazon wants audio files to be published at 14 decibels LUFS integrated loudness and 2 decibels true peak. They recommend achieving this using Audacity, which is a free audio editing software, and DP Meter 2, which is a free plugin you can add to Audacity to manage the integrated loudness and true peaks of your recordings. Alternatively, if you're into Linux, there's a utility called FFmpeg you can use instead of DP Meter 2. Amazon shows you how to install the DP Meter 2 plugin, and that's fine. It's only when using it that things begin to go awry. They say, in DP Meter 2, go to File Open and find one of the audio files you want to evaluate. But there is no file open in DP Meter 2. Then they say, click the green arrow at the bottom of the interface to start playback. You could, but it isn't the right thing to do. I'll come back to why later. Actually, in this image, it's a yellow rectangle because the file is playing. Amazon then provides clear and easy to follow instructions on how to get your original recording to meet the specification using DP Meter 2. And according to Amazon, your file is now ready to use with Alexa. Oh no it isn't. As you can see in the image on Amazon's instructions page, the true peak of their output file was 2.5 dBFS, not minus 2. Not only that, but if you open the resulting MP3 in Audacity again, select All and Analyze Clipping, you're likely to find lots of red lines that neither you nor your listener wants to hear. And if you are working with mono recordings, you're also likely to find that if you check it through DP Meter 2 again, it doesn't actually have an integrated loudness of 14 decibels after all. FFmpeg doesn't work just like DP Meter 2 doesn't work in the way we expect it to. And the reason is that it has to meet two targets, integrated loudness and true peak. 
Both utilities analyze the input MP3 to calibrate the native integrated loudness and true peak. If the native integrated loudness is 20.1, it calculates a required gain of 6 to reach 14. That would be fine, except it then adjusts the true peak and in doing so reduces the native integrated loudness to something like 22. Then it applies the gain of 6, which it first thought of, and produces an integrated loudness of not 14, but 16. And in the process of applying the gain of 6, it sends the true peak to 2.5, as in this case. Incidentally, the reason it shows 14.4 in this image is that it hasn't finished processing yet, as you can tell from the monitor bars on the right. The fact is, you cannot control true peak at all using DP meter 2. So, frankly, you're stymied. There is an answer, but it is not DP meter 2, though it does come from the same developers at TB Pro Audio Tools. The whole process is a bit more complicated than Amazon made it out to be, and a little bit more expensive but it works, and it's called Final Loud. It will cost you 29 euros to buy Final Loud, but believe me, having spent five hours trying to declip a 20-minute MP3 and still ended up with a file that doesn't meet Alexa's specs, it's worth every cent. Download and install Final Loud and add the plugin to Audacity just like you did with DP Meter 2. I'll put the link for the Final Loud page in the notes uh, underneath this video. Now I'm going to show you how to fix a small file using Final Loud. The principles apply in exactly the same way to much longer files. Here we have an open version of Audacity, the sound editor. Having opened Audacity, you're going to open your original MP3 file. So here's one I prepared earlier. This is really one of my files. It's a very short one, save time, just a few seconds. Click in the wave. Use Control A to select all. Then open Final Loud from Effects. So Effects, have to scroll all the way down and you should find Final Loud. Start off by choosing the factory preset for Amazon Alexa and you'll see that this gives you a target level of 14 decibels loves and 2 decibels true peak. You want to make sure your method is EBU integrated loudness, clear any gain, you can either click in it and type zero or reset gain. While you're down here, reset the meters so you're starting from scratch. You want force mono on, so it's yellow, not off, on, similarly full scale on, sync on, and here, this is the scale, you have a choice of absolute or relative, and you want absolute. So this is how your final loud utility plugin should look before you start.
now you can apply. The reason you apply, rather than use the play button, which is here, as Amazon suggested previously when talking about DP Meter 2, is that play happens in real time. Apply takes about 20% of real time. So play will analyze a 20 minute file in 20 minutes. Apply will do it in about four minutes. That's why you use apply. Now here you have the readings for your original file. And you can see we've got 22.5 decibels integrated loudness and 3.2 true peak here and here. Um, now we have to manipulate those down to the target. It's easy to do, although a little bit long-winded. First of all, you're going to match the target and you can see that it's calculated the necessary gain as 8.5 decibels. Having matched the target, you can now apply. But as I explained earlier, it doesn't bring you to 14. The true peak is good, but the integrated loudness is quieter than you wanted it to be. So again, you're going to match the target and apply. You can see this time that the gain is just 1.1. The gain is getting smaller and your new integrated loudness is 14.3. Getting better all the time, true peak is still minus 2. Guess what? Yep, match target, apply. Now we've got just 0.3 of a gain. We're down to 14.1, very close indeed. And one more match target, apply. And bingo! Integrated loudness of 14, true peak of 2. Exactly what Amazon Alexa are asking for. Now you can close this. You have to save the file. This is on the screen at the moment is the Audacity project. You want to go File, Export Audio, find whichever directory it is you want to put it in. I'm going to change the file name so that I keep the original file and just um, add AS for Alexa specification. Alexa want it output at the extreme setting, which we have here, and then save. Fill in any details you want so that you can identify the file later or people can do so when they're playing it back digitally, and OK. Now, what you're looking at isn't the saved MP3, it's the saved Audacity project. Um, you can close that now. It will give you an option to save the project if you want. Personally, I don't. You might. It's up to you. So, no. Now you can check whether your final product really does meet Alexa's specifications by going File, Open, Open the MP3 you've just made with the AS appendage for the Alexa specification. Click in the wave, control A to select all, then you're going to use DP meter 2 for the first time. Open DP meter 2. Clear anything you've got there from work you did previously, which you can do by clicking on this reverse arrow. Clear the meters. Up here you want to check that your mode is EBU. If you're working with mono files, make sure that you have 1.0 mono selected. 
Gain is zero because we've just reset it. Everything else is clear and now you can apply. And look, minus 14 integrated loudness, minus two true peak. And there you are, a properly compliant audio file to keep Amazon and Alexa happy. Good luck and goodbye.